14th of March here. Um, noticed a few <coughs> issues with the mini aquaponic system. Uh, just noticed today, over the last two days, that um, the fish have been acting a bit differently. Uh, they've been going very quiet and still, and this guy in the middle has got that uh, swelled eye, puff eye, or whatever it's called. And so, <clears throat> I had thought that the nutrients might be off whack on it. Because I've increased their feeding to try and increase the level of nitrates in the system. Because, as I've tested it just there, ammonia zero, nitrite nitrate all zero so it's not a doesn't seem to be a nutrient issue so <coughs> did further tests on it it seems to look like that there's there's quite a bit of sediment on the bottom so I'm gonna to have to clean that out today um, and I might need to look at putting in some sort of additional filtration in there to try and get rid of those sediments and um, Another test that we did, which was quite shocking really, is the pH in it. While I've battled for a year to get the pH on the outdoor system down by a small bit, the pH has dropped to 6. Down from about 7.0 to 6.0, so I obviously need to buffer that up a bit. I'm also going to put in a bit of salt in the system, sea salt. Just a small bit, just if there is parasites in there that we might contain them as the, the fish obviously are a bit stressed by what's going on in the tank so we're going to try and tackle it by uh, having a look at the built-in filter and uh, having a look at see if we can get the filter down lower or that see would it take a bit more of the solids off the bottom I'm going to clean out this tank I'm going to clean out the filter and then we're going to have a look and see if we can put <coughs> even more aeration I'm going to put an air stone in there um, get some fresh water in there and um, get a bit of sea salt in the water and see if we can't and uh, research a way of getting the pH up of it. So next day we um, what we've done yesterday was we cleaned out the bottom of the tank and took out the ornament because it was only keeping crap on clumped up in there so we put in an extra air stone and as we cleaned out the bottom we changed some water out so we changed about 30-40% um, of the water <coughs> in doing so this brought up the pH slightly now we did that by adding it into the the grow room so it, it mixed in slowly as it cycled through the night and um, so the pH is up a small bit this this morning it's up to about 6.2 6.2 6.3 uh, as you can see the fish are unusually quiet to go their feed this morning they're not feeding they're very quiet and uh, their fins are just like it's like just like the small guys are fine but the goldfish are all the same um, this is the trickle filter we put in. Just wanted to add an extra bit of bio filter in case there was any spikes upsetting them. And uh, to try and get as much uh, particles out of the uh, system as possible. As you can see, and there's one of them, the guy there on the right, he has a bit of Popeye. So, whatever's upsetting them. And I'm thinking because <clears throat> just watched a video from our buddy in Australia and Rob Bob and he had low pH and his fish went off the food. This is the first time these guys haven't eaten when presented with food. So I'm I'm going to have a look now and let's see it slowly bringing up the pH. I just hope that they're not so stressed out that they get sick and die. But uh, time will tell. We'll talk to you soon. And um, the results after our uh, fish emergency and the fish pH has been risen using our pH up mixture and using the 
bag of um, oyster shell mix. And the water is a little too high. I put in a small bit too much water, but that it, it tends to go down very very fast between the plants um, in the grow room taking it up. It tends to drop quite a bit very quickly, but in comparison to the way the fish were only days ago, they are now feeding constantly, doing a good job of uh, cleaning. They do all the cleaning themselves. They keep everything all moving and going through the filter, and they're in a, a much better uh, pH is up to about 7.0 now which is my target is 7.0 if I can get it between 6.8 and 7.2 I'm, I'm, I'm delighted so I'll try and keep it at 7 hopefully the, the grit will keep it at, uh, more stabilised because it, even with adding the pH up that I've been making um, it tends to shoot down very very quickly so hopefully we'll get a bit of stabilisation there and and um, it seems that a pH decrease uh, when it's coming down seems to affect the fish uh, an awful lot more than when it's increasing. Uh, it didn't take them long at all to recover. I mean, um, and they've been through a lot because it has been low for a long time and it's it's swung. We've corrected it and it's swung back down again. So they've been, they've been through quite quite a lot, and uh, they're looking great. Okay. Hope it's of, uh, of use to someone and uh, talk to you soon. Bye -bye.